Hello friends, this is Durga again from my university. Um, at this time we are talking about the playlist for uh, Red Hat Certified System Administrator, the most basic exam in Red Hat suite of certifications. So this is primarily to test uh, your skills on Red Hat and the latest exam is on uh, uh, Red Hat Enterprise, uh, Enterprise Linux 7 and uh, the performance based uh, uh, exam tests your knowledge and skill in areas of system administration common across a wide range of environments and deployment scenarios and it covers all these topics which are highlighted here at this time we will be uh, looking into the first module understanding and using essential tools and again there are several learning objectives in that the first learning objective is access a shell prompt and issue commands with correct syntax. Before executing this, we need to set up uh, environment for us. Either you have to get a PC and install Red Hat on it, or you can actually set up a VM on your laptop. Whether you have 4 GB or 8 GB or 16 GB of RAM, uh, you can um, use 2 GB of RAM for your virtual machine, and you can start exploring it. But make sure that at least you have 64-bit operating system um, on your Mac or PC on which the virtual machine is created with 64-bit Red Hat 7 Linux. For the instructions about setting up um, uh, uh, the environment or the uh, virtual host with Red Hat 7 uh, are already there in these two videos and the, that are part of Red Hat Certified System Administrator playlist. Uh, so uh, before getting into this current uh, video, uh, before getting further into the current video, uh, make sure you follow these things and set up the virtual machine with Red Hat 7. And once it is uh, set up, uh, you will see the virtual host here. Uh, operating system is also installed on it. You just need to double click on it and it will start. You can close these two things, these are just information. So now it is asking for the, uh, the username and password. The username, um, I want to use this one only. And then using the password for this. And it will make me log into the virtual machine. Okay. So this is the uh, default desktop you get. Uh, on Red Hat 7 and if you again go back to the learn, uh, learning objectives for the certification the first thing they are talking about is access a shell prompt and then issue commands with correct syntax first check uh, first let us check the first piece of this statement accessing a shell prompt that you can open this one and click on applications and uh, you have terminal in this so you have to use this one to access the shell prompt you can change the settings by clicking on edit and preferences so you have to click on edit profile preferences and here you can change the colors and uh, and the size of the text let me change it now uh, colors I'm looking at uh, changing the size so it is under general you have to use custom font and you can change the font here let's say i want to use the bold select and close now it is better so this is how you can access the terminal if you could not find directly here you can also uh, get into I think system tools uh, 
so it would be somewhere else as well but mostly it will be available here under the applications directly once you get the terminal uh, most likely it will be available in applications only uh, or they will provide you in the desktop and then you can access the terminal and the most basic command is to list the files so you can validate some of the commands here uh, such as ls which is nothing for uh, listing the files ls by default uh, will list the files in multiple um, uh, in the form of multiple files in uh, in multiple lines depending upon number of files you have and also the files will be in ascending order of names if you see uh, the files are by name in ascending order if you run ls command so you to get the details uh, um, for ls command you can also run ls minus l which will list uh, which will do the files in as a list so it will have all the properties of the file who is the owner who is the uh, uh, group um, and when is the file last modified uh, file or directory last modified etc and if you want to change the sorting uh, you can say minus l and t which will sort by time instead of name uh, here all the files are uh, with uh, uh, same timestamp so it it just shows the files in random order in this case if you try to create a file by name testing here and then run ls minus lt now the files are in descending order let me create one more yeah so you can see uh, if you want the files to be in uh, ascending order you have to run ls minus ltr which is nothing but reverse and the files will be in ascending order if you just do ls minus lt the files uh, will be de in descending order by timestamp so uh, ls minus ltr is the most important command which will list uh, the latest files at the last if you have too many files this is much more readable than giving the files in descending order similarly we will see several commands we just validate ls command here and also touch command to create files you can remove files by saying rm testing and rm testing 01 to keep it clean and uh, uh, then you can run ls minus cell command to list the files like that we will be able to run all the linux commands but as part of the this learning objective we will not be getting into too much details in the commands they are just asking us to access a shell prompt and issue commands with correct syntax which we have done and uh, 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 that being said i hope you will be enjoying the content on my channel if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to provide the feedback please use the comment section of the video if you want to uh, if you run into any issues and if you want to raise any questions please go to stack overflow and then uh, there will be an option to ask question you can click on ask question and uh, give it good title and uh, uh, provide the description and make sure you you tag them appropriately so that the subject matter experts of the respective to topic in this uh, in this case it is red hat will provide you answers as quickly as possible and uh, uh, if you want to discuss further on the certifications you can join my linkedin group called uh, ITVersity minus certification you can send me a request and uh, I will um, uh, accept it and you can actually discuss about any certifications in, in information technology domain and finally if you are not subscribed to my channel yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this over time thank you bye